Why is Jesus different from all the others? First of all, Jesus is God. John 20, 31 tells us that John wrote his gospel to prove to us that Jesus is the Son of God and that believing in him, we might have life through his name. No other religion has the true God that they worship. So Jesus is God. Secondly, he's also fully human. He's one of us. He has his mother's eyes. John 1.14 says, The Word, the Son of God, became flesh and made his dwelling among us. Because Jesus is fully human, you and I have a mediator. We have a representative in the Godhead. Jesus, to this day, remains fully human. How committed is God to us? At the very first Christmas, the Godhead changed. God remained fully God, but the second person, the Son of God, took on, he added to that deity a full human nature. He will forever be one of us. So why is Jesus different from all the others? Well, he alone is God. He alone is also us. And because of that, he is love. 1 John 4, verses 8 through 10 says, This is love. Not that we love God, but that God loved us and sent his son to be the atoning sacrifice for our sins. You see, the Bible is not just the greatest story ever told. It's the greatest story that ever could be told. You can't make up a better story than what we find about Jesus in the Bible. A God who made this world and then became part of it, became one of us and lived and suffered and died and rose again. You can't make up a better story than that. In fact, the most popular stories today, like Harry Potter, all they can do is rip it off, switch out Jesus and, and make him Harry. Isn't that amazing? You and I would never have come up with the story of the Bible. You never would have imagined it, but having heard it, that Jesus came and lived and died and rose again, don't you say, you know what? If God was going to save me, that's exactly how he'd have to do it. There's no other way. So Jesus is vastly different from all the rest. He's God, he's human, and he loves you.